Welcome to the chapter on embedded systems. Embedded systems are specialized computing systems that perform dedicated functions or tasks within larger systems. In this chapter, we will cover microcontrollers, real-time operating systems, and embedded software. These are fundamental components for designing and implementing embedded systems. A microcontroller is a compact integrated circuit designed to govern a specific operation in an embedded system. Unlike general purpose processors, microcontrollers are optimized for control applications and typically include memory, processing units, and input-output peripherals on a single chip. The key components of a microcontroller include the CPU, which is the brain of the microcontroller responsible for executing instructions. Memory components like RAM, ROM, and EEPROM provide storage for data and program code. Input-output ports interface the microcontroller with other devices. Timers and counters are used for timing operations, while ADC and DAC convert signals between analog and digital formats. A common introductory project for learning microcontrollers is blinking an LED. In this example, we define the pin number, initialize the pin as an output, and then turn the LED on and off with delays. Here is the code for blinking an LED using an Arduino microcontroller. We define the pin number, initialize the pin as an output in the setup function, and then turn the LED on and off with a one second delay in the loop function. A real-time operating system, or RTOS, is designed to manage hardware resources and run applications with precise timing and high reliability. RTOS is crucial in systems where timing is critical, such as automotive controls, medical devices, and industrial automation. The key features of an RTOS include deterministic behavior, which ensures that tasks are executed within a predictable time frame, multitasking for concurrent task execution, priority scheduling to ensure critical tasks are executed first, and inter-task communication mechanisms like semaphores and message queues. Consider a system with two tasks, one to read sensor data and another to control a motor. An RTOS can schedule these tasks based on their priority and timing requirements. Here is the code for task scheduling using free RTOS. We have two tasks, one to read sensor data and another to control a motor. The tasks are created and scheduled based on their priority and timing requirements. Embedded software is the code running on an embedded system designed to perform specific tasks. It is typically written in languages like C or C++ and is tailored to the hardware it runs on. Key concepts in embedded software include interrupts, which temporarily halt the CPU's current operations to execute a specific piece of code known as an interrupt service routine. Polling involves continuously checking the status of a device or condition in a loop. Drivers are software components that allow the operating system to communicate with hardware peripherals. Firmware is the low-level software that is permanently programmed into the microcontroller's ROM or flash memory. Consider an embedded system where a button press triggers an interrupt to toggle an LED. This is a common example of handling an interrupt in embedded systems. Here is the code for handling an interrupt to toggle an LED. We define the button and LED pins, set up the pin modes, and attach an interrupt to the button pin. The interrupt service routine toggles the LED state whenever the button is pressed. In summary, embedded systems are crucial in modern electronics, providing dedicated functionality within larger systems. Understanding microcontrollers, real-time operating systems, and embedded software is fundamental for designing and implementing these systems. Through practical examples, such as blinking an LED and handling interrupts, students can gain hands-on experience with embedded systems.